right, this is definitely a gray poppy because this is a dead poppy bud and it's gray inside. But we have two more coming up right here and right there. So I hope those are successful. I grew bread seed poppies last year and they didn't do well at all. So please, I just want to see one gray poppy. Once again, we are preparing for camping and today I'm making hot dog buns. I'm using a recipe that I used a month or two ago and I made hamburger buns and they were the best hamburger buns we had ever had, ever. Like they were so, so good. So I'm using the same recipe, but I'm just making them more elongated to make a hot dog bun. <laughs> the method I am using, it's called tangzong. Tangzong. It's a little bit different than a normal yeast dough because we are going to be heating milk and flour up in a pot on the stove. And that is the method. This is a vegan recipe, but if you're not vegan, it doesn't really matter. Just substitute the ingredients for whatever you have. I use a lot of vegan recipes, mostly because I don't have eggs in the house. So I kind of have to search for it that way but you can add whatever ingredients you have at home and I'm sure they will turn out the same way. Once again, the recipe will be linked in the description. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm using hard white wheat berries because this is a yeast dough. I usually use white because it's a little bit less weedy tasting. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, like it doesn't taste whole grain or whatever. And it is technically whole grain because I am using the whole grain. <laughs> I'm mixing this milk in with the stove top turned off first. Now I'm gonna heat this up and I'm gonna whisk it until it becomes sticky, but still smooth. The recipe says it's gonna take two to three minutes. I think that is done. I'm gonna add sugar, yeast, and salt to this flour and mix it all up. I am now adding the olive oil and milk. This is the main dough portion of it. But first we're adding in these ingredients before we add in the tangzong. And remember this flour mixture has yeast in it. So that milk in there is going to be mixing with that yeast and you know, doing its yeast thing. Once this is all mixed up, it says roughly. So I guess this is roughly, I'm gonna add this that we mixed up on the stove. Stir until it becomes sticky. I'm gonna have to knead it anyway, so might as well dive in. See you in like 10 to 15 minutes. Babe, I need your help. All right, after 10 minutes, here we go. This is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth, easy to work with. I am going to place it into the bowl, this bowl, and let it rise for one hour. I'm gonna let it rise for one hour. Okay, it's 103 degrees out right now, and the larkspur is looking a little sad. I think it will perk up, but I just really wanted to show you this flower on it. Such a pretty blue. I'm sure it looks much better when it isn't shriveled up, but just wanted to show you that. I hope it perks back up. <laughs> Hello, I am packing for the camping trip. Yes, this looks like a lot of clothes for two nights, but I am an overpacker. That's just how I am. You never know what's gonna happen and I need to be prepared for everything. So yes, I'm bringing a lot, but it's okay. It's gonna fit all into this duffel bag, I hope. <laughs> yes, I'm also using packing cubes. <laughs> I know camping is like roughing it. I understand that, but I need like my socks to kind of be in their own place. So I don't have to hunt for socks because they're so small. It's just too much of a pain. <laughs> okay, we're so close. Ah, oh, I did it. There we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks so good when it's filled out. Wow, I love it. I got this bag at American Apparel over 10 years ago. Like so, so very long ago. And I'm finally using it, which is awesome. 
This is all of my tech gear that I am bringing camping. It seems like a lot, I know, <laughs> but I feel like this is actually kind of minimal for what I'm bringing. It's all gonna fit into my backpack that is specifically for cameras. I will quickly go over everything. I have cameras, this is a GoPro, this is my M50. The one I'm using is a Fuji. I'm also bringing this one because I love it and I like to take pictures with it. This one is great for roughing it, if that makes sense. I'm not afraid to get it a little dirty, but the Fuji, I don't like to get dirty. <laughs> it's just a nicer camera and I feel like this one is a little bit more, I can just kind of rough around with it, if that makes sense. This is also the one I usually take to the garden and at home I'm usually filming with my Fuji. Sometimes we venture out to the garden, but like I said, I'm so afraid of getting it dirty. These are filters for the lenses. This is my like battery box and I keep my memory cards up here and all my extra batteries. I have more, but they're on the charger right now. This is for the microphones that I use. This is GoPro accessories and like tripod accessories. This is a little light <laughs> like that. Great for filming in the dark. Necessary when camping. This is a little battery bank as well. This one actually connects to my phone like that. It has a little stand. <laughs> These are all charged battery banks. This is all my tripod stuff. This is for a phone. This is a small tripod. This is a smaller tripod. This is also a tripod that you can clamp onto things. This one snaps to the back of my phone and then you can suction cup it to anything. And this I literally just got in the mail today. It's a, um, it's a thing that goes on top of a tripod and then you can connect multiple things onto it, such as this thing or your phone or a GoPro, whatever. So that is what I'm bringing. I think I might also be bringing my large tripod over here. Our car will be right there, so I don't have to bring all of this onto the campsite. I could definitely leave my larger tripods in the car and when I need them, get them out. So not too big of a deal to be bringing so much stuff. All right, our dough is ready. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Wow. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle these around until they are, it's like an elongated bun. I don't know, a hot dog bun shape. Maybe like that. I think that looks good, I guess. I'm gonna place them onto a sheet pan covered in this trash bag so they don't dry out. These are all shapen the way I think a hot dog bun should be shaped. I hope they turn out well. Either way, we're eating hot dogs on them. <laughs> I'm gonna let these rise for another hour. Okay, I know there was a lot going on over here. We still have birthday things, sauerkraut, we have a herb dryer, we have gardening stuff, we have 25 pounds of soft white wheat berries, and then all of this over here is for camping. So I'm gonna organize all of this into some bags so it is way easier for us to make Manage. I am gonna pack all of the cooler stuff, obviously, tomorrow. It is 106 degrees out, 77 degrees inside the home, so very warm. And this is where my dog is. He is so very deep in blankets right now. I don't know how. He loves to be hot and I just don't get it. <laughs> Not quite hot dog bun shaped, but that's okay. I can't really do anything about it now and they'll still get the job done. I'm gonna bake them for about 18 minutes, maybe, maybe 20, and see how they look after that. As you can see, I have acquired more things. Pretty much figured out everything I need to bring and now I'm gonna put all of this into more bags.
we are camping at Lake Granby in Colorado. We stayed at the Arapaho Bay campground. It wasn't right on the lake, but it was pretty close, maybe a 10 minute or less walk to the water. Lake Granby is the third largest body of water in Colorado. There are so many things to do. There were a lot of people fishing, doing various water sports, a lot of hiking trails nearby, and of course, multiple campgrounds. We are tent camping and we brought an air mattress. Last year, we did not have one and we slept on top of yoga mats in our sleeping bags and it was very uncomfortable. So this year, we definitely upgraded. Look at that. This is our bear box. You put your food and any food related items in there. There are black bears, of course, in the Rocky Mountains. And although I've never seen one, I like to be extra super careful. Around the campsite there were beautiful wildflowers. We're in perfect wildflower season. Right now, everything is coming to life and it was just so beautiful. As soon as we got there, we set up the tent and then it was time to build a fire. Great dirty dog feet all over Ew. my pillow. So, come here. What's on your booty? A leaf. <laughs> Put up a light in our tent. We have dog beds. We have so many blankets. Supposed to get down to like 45, 40 or something like that. And yeah, we definitely need blankets. A little bit different from the 60s that we've been experiencing over in Denver. Mm. Right now, I think it's, it says 74, but I'm very sweaty. I have a temperature thingy. I just have to go get it. Here That's I get, a cute little pupa. You get clean feet. It's like everywhere we go, we get a hummingbird. Huh? Everywhere we go, we get a hummingbird. I know, it's so nice. Bug, where'd he go? Where'd Sal go? Get what? Sal! He's in there with you. No, he ran out. He's what? in here, babe. Go look for him. That, oh, he's there. What the hell? Hey, all right. He's in there. I think I that know. he has to be close. No. Shush. Sal just escaped out the tent. My water bottle was under the mattress and when I was digging for it, he ran out. That's what? so bad. I found him peeing on a tree. <laughs> fire going and we're gonna make some hot dogs which is so exciting i'm drinking this beverage it is quirk which is a hard seltzer I'm so excited mm. oh my god <laughs> so good. i am drinking a strawberry banana whip quirk which is from boulevard brewery which is in kansas city where i'm from and they have a like oh they have so many good flavors but i got like the whip collection which is like strawberry banana whip but there's a peach apricot a raspberry lime and that might be it or there might be another one also there's a hummingbird that keeps flying all over us <laughs> i love it so good so i got these last year on our birthday when we went to kansas city and i've been saving them because we don't really drink that much perfect for camping though what is it? It's almost eight. We took a little walk earlier. You can kind of see the sun setting over there, over a mountain. Amazing. Now we're gonna have a bevy by the fire with the dogs and make hot dogs. Later, we'll make s'mores. Oh my gosh. 
What a great fire. <laughs> My wiener and I'm gonna roast it over this fire. This is a light life hot dog from Trader Joe's. It's a vegetarian dog. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's not really roasting like a real hot dog. Um, it's okay. We'll just get it warm at least. Okay, this is what we have going on here. I have a bun right here. I'm gonna cut it down the middle, I think. Just barely. There we go. Put this on there like that. I'm gonna grab some pickled onions. <laughs> and some zucchini relish. Oh yeah. Oh. And some ketchup. Oh my gosh. Okay, are we ready for this? First time trying the buns too. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm, the buns are good. some water or water I'm doing some dishes this is Dr. Bronner's Castile soap unscented we shared a plate so we don't have that many dishes just this skewer some silverware and a plate I don't know if you can see that but the moon has like an aura around it it's so beautiful Roasting a marshmallow. <sighs> See how these roast. I don't know if they're- Ay! Oh my god. Okay, I can't with the bugs. Come on now. Oh, there it is. Oh. It's on fire. Oh yeah. I like it on fire. Ooh. Here, turn that thing off. Beautiful. Now, come over here. We got chocolate and our graham crackers that we made. Oh. Oh my gosh. Are we ready for this? Oh, wait, let me turn my thing off. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> the best thing ever. I need more s'mores in my life. Whoa. It's about to rain. It keeps thundering. So I'm gonna wash or brush my teeth and then we're gonna get into the tent. Sal's already in the tent. That's why he's crying. Oh my god, did you see that? No. 